Hi there, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm next to the Gosney Dome. It's back. It's not my dome, or well, it is my dome, but it's not the same one I sent off. It's actually a different one they've sent back. It's uh, a replacement instead of a repair. I don't know why they didn't explain why then. It took about two weeks uh, from it going away to them telling me, no, we've changed our mind, we're going to send you a replacement and not repair it. So two weeks isn't too bad. I was hoping it'd get back for Christmas and it's back. We've already cooked a bit of a deep pan pizza in it as a wee test last night as we were curing it. I've slowly been curing it from a low flame up to a high flame to try and get it. So I really don't want the stone to crack so I'm going to be mega, mega, mega careful but it'll make a difference, we'll see. I'm not sure if there's actually been any changes in the, the actual stone. Maybe someone with us our earlier batch can tell me, I don't know, but I've got a feeling it's slightly changed at the corners here. It just doesn't look as pointy. It looks a bit more round from memory, that is. So I'm trying to figure out if anything has changed. I mean, it's identical in every other way, but I've just got this feeling that there's been some little tweaks. But if not, it doesn't matter. It's back, it still looks great. So to celebrate it coming back, We've decided to do something a wee bit different. So what we're going to do, if this isn't, isn't too hot, is a one pan chocolate chip cookie. Now, you can get this recipe for the chocolate chip cookie on my website. I'll, I'll link it in the video. And generally you can just make a whole batch of cookies with it and chuck them in the oven. But we just thought we'd try it in the Gosney dome, because why not? So what we're going to do, hold on. Let's turn the flame off because otherwise it's going to completely wreck it. So what we're going to try is put it in a hot oven with a flame off. This has been preheated up quite high because it's cold out here and the temperature's going to drop. So I reckon that this is probably going to take about five minutes to be. I don't have a door. Obviously if we had the door we would get the temperature at 180 which is what you should cook it in the oven and then we would just cook it for probably about 15-20 minutes but because there's no door, because the oven's a bit higher I reckon it's probably going to cook a bit faster so let's let that cook and then we'll come back and see what it looks like, shall we? Okay, so welcome back Now, for the last couple of minutes I just put the dome on a really low flame and then I put the cookie over to the end of the oven just so that I could sort of brown off the top uh, and help cook on the top a little bit because because the pan's so hot it does cook all the way through up the way so I thought it'd be nice to give some heat from the top as well and it smells like cookie oh my god you can smell chocolate chip cookie can't you Lisa mm -hmm. and look at that how perfect does that look that looks so nice it's risen up quite nicely hasn't it you can see it's got a bit crusty down the edges which is what you want and of course oh, I, that, that, <laughs> doesn't that smell amazing that smells so much like cookie it's unbelievable it's so sweet you've got a nice smell it looks like it's going to be nicely cooked it's quite firm but quite squidgy and soft at the same time it's nice and crispy down the edges, bullets of things. So what we're going to do, like I say, did I say, but you could just get a fork and just start eating it, Good couldn't day. you? Or you could just let it cool down and try and take out in one piece. So we're going to let it cool down, try and take out in one piece, because that'll probably be more fun. Uh, normally, with things like this, it doesn't take very long to cool down at all. What, probably about five minutes or something. So let's just leave it cool. And then in five minutes we're taking it out and we're seeing what it looks like and more importantly what it tastes like. <laughs> back in a sec. Hi, welcome back. Right, we've cooked in the dome our cookie, our first, it's technically our first cook on video in the replacement dome and it's not a pizza. You'll be surprised to learn, it's a cookie. You won't be surprised to learn because you just basically watched the rest of the video so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, but here, look, we have a cookie. Look at that. Look at that crispiness at the edge, really crispy at the edges. It's sort of, I managed to get it out the pan by putting something on top of it and turn it upside down. That's the only way to do it because it was still a bit soft, but now it's starting to crisp up at the edges and it's getting quite crunchy. Uh, so let's 
have a wee look, shall we? I'm not going to take a huge bit because I'm absolutely stuffed. But I'll have a, I'll have a, I'll have a, a bit. Okay, that'll do. Right, out you come. That's not really the easiest way to do it, is it? There we go. Look at that, see? Look, it's perfectly cooked in the middle. Mmm, it's good. I like that, it's perfectly cooked in the middle. Mmm. Oh my god, it tastes delicious, cookie. Mmm. You've got to try this. Check out the video on the channel. Like, subscribe. It's amazing. See you next time. Bye. Mmm.